After months of silence, Zabit Magoshed Cheripov posted a video with a caption claiming he was ready to simply destroy someone. Is he about to make his return? You'll have to stay tuned to find out. First up, Instagram post squashing rumors. Zabit Magoshed Cheripov isn't done with MMA. Rumors about Magomed Cheripov's whereabouts have been circulating for months. He hasn't competed since November of 2019, despite having a 14-fight winning run. Some speculate Speculated that Zabit would retire from professional boxing. He isn't finished by a long shot, as it turns out. After spending well over two years away from the octagon, Magomed Sharapov appears to be planning a quick comeback, revealing on Instagram that he will simply destroy someone on February 28th, making it plain that he intends to injure people. It's wonderful news not only for Magomed Sharapov's supporters, but for MMA fans as well. Magomed Sharapov is 6-0 in the UFC, and I'm questionably one of the most entertaining competitors on the roster, let alone in the featherweight category. It was also rumored early last year that the 30-year-old was considering retirement. However, according to Magomed Sharapov's most recent post, this appears to be no longer the case. So who will be his next opponent? It seems to be unknown who he will wind up against next. The one fight that almost everyone wants is a rematch with fellow fighter Yair Rodriguez, which has been in the works for several years. At this moment, though, so just about anyone in the top five in the featherweight class would be a welcome opponent for Magomed Sharapov. Next, we have past victories. Calvin Qatar was Magomed Sharapov's previous opponent. Zabit was victorious by unanimous decision. The fight won him the title of Fight of the Night. Zabit has also defeated opponents like as Jeremy Stevens, Brandon Davis, and Kyle Boschniak. He is 6-0 in UFC competition and hasn't lost a competitive MMA bout since April 2013. It's his only loss in his career. Ali Abdelaziz, Zabit Magomed Sharapov's manager, told MMAJunkie.com that his client is eager to go back into the octagon. Zabit, he claims, is in the process of training. He's a member of the USADA program, although he has had some health issues. Abdelaziz believes this is a discussion that he and the UFC will have regarding Zabit next week to see what the future has for him, and they'll see what happens. However, he feels Zabit is one of the toughest fighters in the category and believes he can win the title tomorrow. He agrees that Alexander is a fantastic champion, but Zabit takes the cake for Abdelaziz. Abdelaziz plans to have a conversation with Sean Shelby, the UFC matchmaker, to figure out how to go about it, while also trying to find out what Zabit wants when he'll be ready to fight and for how much money. Magomed Cherepov was rated as high as number three in the UFC's featherweight standings until his demotion due to inactivity. In six octagon appearances, the 30-year-old earned four prizes, including Fight of the Night in his main event versus Qatar. While there hasn't been much information released about Magomed Chapov's health issues, the fact that he's back in the gym should put some of the more serious rumors to rest. Zabit has been suffering from mystery health concerns for some time, some alleging immune system troubles and others citing esophagus problems specifically. Magomed Sharapov's underwent a successful operation in October 2021, according to news reports, Abdelaziz was unable to provide any further information on Magomed Sharapov's health or future fights, but he did state that more information would be available shortly after speaking with UFC matchmaker Sean Shelby. Zabit Magomed Sharapov appears to have provided an update on his fight sports future when the Russian featherweight recently disclosed his plans to destroy someone on February 28 in an Instagram post. The featherweight, on the other hand, gave no clue himself as to whether he'll return to the UFC. Next, Dana White recently provided some insight about Zabit's future in the promotion while speaking with Aaron Bronstetter. In an episode of The Odds Game, White claimed that he would bet against Zabit participating in the UFC in 2022. During his time on the sidelines, Zabit attempted to face fellow featherweight Yair Rodriguez on a few occasions. The fight constantly failed to materialize. During a chat with MMA Junkie, his manager and dominant MMA CEO Ali Abdelaziz indicated that El Pantera was to blame for the continuous cancellation of their fights. While his team is still keeping things close to the vest, it's a good indication that he's back in the gym. However, there are still concerns between Zabit and the UFC that must be resolved. Now in other UFC news, following his departure from the world's top MMA company, former UFC middleweight Marcus Perez wanted to try something new. Despite the fact that Maluko is still an 
active MMA fighter on the regional circuit following his release from the UFC, the Brazilian has found a new outlet for his martial abilities by competing in Pillow Fighting Championship's latest one-night tournament. The event took place on Saturday, January 29th in Miami, Florida. As the name implies, contestants entered the PFC ring equipped only with pillows as a means of assault. The winner of the men's bracket was chosen from among 16 participants. Maluco advanced all the way to the quarterfinals before meeting fitness coach Reggie Newsom. However, things escalated when Newsom lost his pillow in the middle of the fight and Perez continued to deliver fluff-filled hits in flagrant violation of the regulations. What was the end result? Inside the ring, there was a brawl between the two fighters, their squads, and Pillow FC officials. Felicia Spencer, a former UFC championship contender, dislikes being reminded that she is no longer competing in MMA. Spencer made the fairly unexpected statement in December of last year, surprising because she was still at the peak of her game. But don't hold out hope. Spencer claims that the decision is final. Spencer, who began fighting professionally in 2015, went 7-0 in her first seven fights, including a featherweight championship victory at Invitica FC before going on to the UFC. She defeated defeated fellow former Invitica FC champion Megan Anderson before fighting three rounds with Chris Cyborg and lost a majority decision in her home country of Canada at UFC 240. Spencer bounced back from her first professional loss with a first round TKO of Zara Farron dos Santos. Following that came a championship defense against featherweight champion Amanda Nunez in the UFC 250 main event, which Spencer lost by unanimous decision. Spencer then lost a split decision against Norma Dumont before finishing Leah Letson with punches in the third round this past November in what would be her final fight. Spencer said she was done fighting three weeks later, which, as it turns out, was part of her plan all along. Spencer, 31, said she always saw herself retiring around the age of 30. Kevin Lee claims he was let go by the UFC because of a contract issue with star heavyweight Francis Ngannou. The Motown Phenom, a stable made of defending champion Ngannou at Creative Arts Agency, CA. A, debuted in November, and Lee informed MMA Junkie that it was not because of his performances, but rather in revenge for UFC President Dana White's feud with the Predator. Lee has a 1-4 record in his past five fights, although he headlined three of them, challenged lightweight titles Charles Oliveira, and had an 18-7 career record. His manager, Markel Martin, also stated that when the UFC terminated his contract, he still had a number of fights left on his deal. Following in his release, the 29-year-old joined Khabib Nurmagomedov's Eagle FC, where he'll meet Diego Sanchez at Super Lightweight in the main event at Eagle FC 46 on March 11. The Midnight Mania first Eagle FC event on American soil is less than 24 hours, and promoter Khabib Nurmagomedov isn't afraid to ruffle any feathers. The former UFC lightweight champion understands the ups and downs of being a professional fighter and operating under the UFC banner better than most. Even if you don't have insider information, the treatment and compensation of boxers is a heated subject right now. Jake Paul would not be suggesting a fighter-boxer union otherwise, and the world heavyweight champion would not be so open about his contract discussions. Of course, if there's no game in town outside of the octagon, taking a stand becomes more difficult. Norma Gamedov is in a great position to capitalize on these ruffled feathers, and he sent a warning to the established promoters during tonight's press conference. Again, Eagle FC's decision to host concerts in the United States is very new, thus it has only lately been a more accessible choice for well-known players such as Kevin Lee and Rashad Evans. Nonetheless, Norma Gamedov has already affected some change, citing the additional 165-pound weight class that many UFC competitors have advocated for over the years as a benefit to the athletes. That's a wrap for this video. Will Zabit Magomed Sharapov return to the UFC this year? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.